What's up guys, I'm BTC, welcome back to The Respawn where I answer your questions. Today we're going to be talking about Battle Royale in Overwatch, Sombra in the meta, and a whole lot more. Alright guys, so I have to change how I handle the Respawn series just a little bit. If you're new, I created the Respawn series because I would always get lots of questions, but I couldn't make a full video on every single question. So I'd grab a bunch of them, put them together, and then I would make a Respawn video. Well, now, whenever I put out a request, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of questions for the Respawn series. So I obviously can't put them all in there, but I don't want to do it the way I was before because I was only getting like five, six, seven questions per video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a couple of them that I can spend a couple minutes on, and then I'm going to go into the speed round. And those are going to be a whole bunch of questions. We're talking like 20, 30 questions where I can answer with just a couple words or maybe a short sentence or something. So that's how it's going to go. Let's get started. The first question, which I'm sure will bring lots of friendly and pleasant discussion in the comment section, is do you think Overwatch is working at a Battle Royale mode? No, absolutely not. Blizzard, the main company, might have another team that's working on a Battle Royale game, but it's not going to be Overwatch, and they're never going to add the mode. Now, they could do something kind of like what they did with Heroes of the Storm, where they just take characters from some of their other games, like, you know, StarCraft, WarCraft, Overwatch and they put them in a battle royale setting, but I don't really know if they would do that I think they would probably want to make in a, a completely new game to base that off of the thing is even though Overwatch and some of the battle royale games are all in the FPS genre They're completely wildly different games with the battle royale You start with nothing and you have to find your equipment find your weapons all that sort of stuff But with Overwatch all the characters already have their abilities and their attacks and stuff so really, most of the characters would just not be viable in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Like, why would you ever use Mercy in the Battle Royale game, right? Like, you just wouldn't. Almost everyone would probably pick Widowmaker, and then they would just be long-range duels all the time. So it just wouldn't work with the characters from Overwatch. Next up, how can Sombra be meta? Well, that's the funny thing. She actually was in the meta for a very short amount of time, but granted, it was a pretty limited usage. It was only during the two capture point maps. And what you could do is on defense, you would play a Sombra, and you could deny the attacking team the use of their mega health packs. That was incredibly powerful. But then they changed Mercy. She got a rework, and she just became the best support character in the entire game, and Sombra was just thrown to the side and never picked up again. With Sombra's recent changes, it's kind of iffy. I know some people say that it's terrible, some people think it's amazing. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see a little bit. The thing is, we have to wait until Hammond enters the competitive scene, and then I think we'll be able to figure out if Sombra can actually be in the meta, because I really do think that the whole Disrupt meta, where you have characters like Hammond and Winston and Doomfist and Sombra can be incredibly powerful. Basically, you go into the enemy team and you just cause all kinds of havoc with them and it will just disrupt everything they're trying to do. And I think using Sombra to either help with the Hammond or at least to counter him will be really powerful. But we'll have to wait and see just how much usage she gets because it might be better to just simply try to use a Reaper or something instead. Again, we'll have to wait and see. But I think it's definitely a possibility that she could come back. And now on to the speed round. Is Reaper's Shadow Step useless? No, it's actually quite decent, it's just way too loud and way too bright. They need to tone that down quite a bit. And before anybody says anything about certain character skins not making noises when you use it, that's not true, I already myth busted it. Do you think he needs a rework? Also no. Do you think Wrecking Ball will change the game forever? In terms of mechanics, no, because he's basically just another dive character, and we've had dive characters for a while. In terms of potential new wackiness for the new characters, then yes. I mean, if they can get away with a genetically engineered, super intelligent hamster, then they can pretty much add whatever they want to the game. Why is Hammond so big? Space magic, or possibly the genetic engineering. But I'm gonna go with space magic. Do you make your videos alone? Well, I mean, I have my cats in the room with me all the time, but they really don't help too much. 
Do you work for Blizzard? No, this is kind of a running joke. If I did work for Blizzard, their patch notes would be amazing and the characters would be much better balanced. Are you planning to do other videos except for Overwatch? If you're asking if I'm gonna turn this into a Fortnite channel, then the answer is absolutely no. I tried the game for a couple of days, I just didn't really care for it all that much. I don't really like the whole Battle Royale style of gameplay anyways. But if you want more content from me that's not Overwatch, you can go back because I used to do a ton of Minecraft videos and Ark Survival Evolved. There's tons of videos and playlists on my channel. You can watch that if you want. What do you think about the ability to exchange places if it's for support? So this is an ability that's in Dota. It's actually incredibly powerful. I believe it's Vengeful Spirit who uses it but I don't think they would ever add it to Overwatch just because it's way too easy to grief or to troll your teammates with it. Do you think Widowmaker is in a good place? What changes would I make? So Widowmaker is in a pretty good spot right now. The only thing I would probably change is maybe making the Venom Mine a little bit better because right now it's still kind of meh. Do you think Winston's ultimate needs to be changed? No, it's one of the best zoning, disruption, and stalling tools in the entire game. If you could rework any of the heroes, who would it be and what would you change? I would probably take Bastion next because I talked about this in a previous video at length. Basically, you go into sentry mode and then it's point and click adventure and that's really all you do. There's not much more with the character. It's really strong in the lower brackets and just complete garbage in the upper brackets with the exception of pirate ship. Do you think this meta will be the triple DPS? No. Triple DPS will probably never be meta unless they add something truly amazing that makes you not want to take an extra tank or a healer. Is Hammond in a good spot in game or does he need buffs nerfs? I think he's in a pretty good spot although they might end up needing to give him a very minor buff. What is the next map type they will add? Well we just got a whole bunch of payload stuff. Rialto, Junker Town, Blizzard World, before that we had Oasis for control. I think we're probably going to get everyone's favorite to capture point. That would be my guess. Do you think Ana will ever be able to shoot through barriers? No. Where'd you get your intro outro music? It's in the YouTube free use library. What is your favorite type of cheese? On sandwiches? Probably provolone. In game? I don't know. I kind of like the new Symmetra stuff with the teleporter. Do you think there's a chance for Jetpack Cat to be added to the hero roster? On a very serious note, no joking around, I think yes, it's actually possible. Do I think it's going to happen anytime soon? No, because they just added Hammond, and I don't see them adding Jetpack Cat right after they added Hammond. But maybe next year, yeah, I actually honestly do think it's possible. And lastly, should Fan the Hammer be replaced? No. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.